So I've got an attaboy for Congressman Ted Lieu, a Democrat out of Los Angeles County, who issued the following statement record regarding the Apple court order. The terrorist act in San Bernardino was horrific and the tragic loss of innocent lives demand a strong response. I have several deep concerns, however, about the unprecedented court order that forces Apple to create software it does not have in order to provide a backdoor way to weaken its smartphone encryption system. This FBI court order, by compelling a private sector company to write new software, is essentially making that company an arm of law enforcement. Private sector companies are not and should not be an arm of government or law enforcement. Hey, Congressman Liu, I'll vote for you. Hey, business travelers. Microsoft just upped the game for hotel monitors. If you watch the Twyat Holiday Special, you know that I'm a fan of the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter, which allows Wintel systems as well as some Android devices to wirelessly connect to HDMI-equipped monitors at distances up to 40 feet. It's a fantastic companion to every business traveler who wants an easy way to use hotel TVs as a second display while on the road or for presentations without a mess of cables. Now, if you were intrigued by the tech but unwilling to pull the trigger, Microsoft might have something to push you over the edge. They've just released the next version of the adapter, and it looks to be a winner. At roughly the same size and price as the original, $50, the new wireless display adapter offers all the same Miracast goodness, but with one big improvement, a vastly reduced lag. While hardcore Twitch gamers will probably still not be happy with the adapter, the lag is all but unnoticeable for most business users. The adapter will be available at the Microsoft Store, Amazon, and Best Buy. So go treat yourself to some travel gear. 2D semiconductor material paves the way for blazing fast processors. Semiconductors made of tin oxygen or tin monoxide is a layer of 2D material only one atom thick, allowing for electrical charges to move through possibly almost 100 times faster than 3D materials like silicon. Silicon is currently 3D because it contains multiple layers on top of a glass substrate, but due to the multiple layers, electrons not, are not as efficient because they tend to bounce around inside. With 2D materials, electrons have no room to party, causing less friction or less heat, less power, and allowing for faster interconnects. Graphene and other 2D materials are also being researched, but they only allow for n-type or negative electrons to move. For processing electronics, you need semiconductor material for both negative n-type and positive p-type charged electrons. This would make tin monoxide the first p-type or positive type 3D semiconductor material today, and, and opens the door to the exciting process of manufacturing transistors using both the N-type and new P-type materials. Devices now have room to have even longer battery life and have even more processing power than ever before. To me, the age of mobile computing really only has begun.